morning walk. I got to bed around 11 last night, a little after. I shouldn't have stayed up that late. And uh, watched them play a little hunt showdown, which I enjoy. Come on. Um, woke up around 5.30, but then went back to sleep till 7.30. And it's about 54 degrees out right now, which is 14 point, 14, wait, 12.4. I think was what the math said. Or 12.2. I don't remember. Something like that, around 12 degrees centigrade. I remember my dream from 5.30. I don't remember the dream from 7.30, although I did have one. But the 5.30 dream uh, started with me on some steps. And I had a computer and a bunch of other stuff there, and I was kind of working, but I was supposed to be driving somewhere. And that didn't last very long. The main part of the, the, of the dream had me at, I think it was in Edgerton O'Brien. But it was a dream Edgerton O'Brien, so it was different from the real one. And I'd gotten there, Mom and Patrick were there. We were all visiting Daylogs, my cousins. And, uh, and I just, I, I wasn't sure I got there. I did not remember. I remember being on the steps. I didn't remember the, the drive from wherever that was, where the steps were and bay logs. I mean, usually in dreams, you don't think about these things, but it was just like, I was situationally aware that somehow I had driven to Ohio and didn't remember the last part of the journey at all. That's how tired I was in the dream. So there were a bunch of people parked on the street because this house was in Edgerton or, oh, hold on, I'm getting tangled. So I wanted to move the truck that I had driven up there. It was like a big truck with a cap on the back. So I went out to it uh, after greeting my brother and my little mom and moved it, drove it somewhere. And then I was trying to find my way back to the house and I got lost. I mean, I was just walking back because I had parked it wherever I had it made sense in the dream and I'm so I'm wandering around and there are like skyscrapers I mean they're big tall buildings almost like in High Point North Carolina and uh, come on girls and I'm lost and my cousin uh, my little third and fourth cousin Katie found me Katie, Katie Baylog uh, and she was like come on I'll show you where I'll show you where the house is. I don't think she actually said that. She just took me by the arm, like, took hold of my arm, and we're walking, and her hand slides down, and we're holding hands, and it was really nice. And you know, I miss my cousins. We get back to the house, and I'm talking to everybody who's there, greeting them, whatever. And Katie comes over, and she just gives me this really, really nice hug. And it was just warm, and it was kind, and it was sweet. That's all I remember. This is our last deer. I don't know where the others have gone. They've moved on or died. No, no, Bella. No, no, no. Come on, Bella. Bella, come on. I'm moving some stuff out of the garage today. Look at these two. Okay, afternoon walk. So, it's been a busy day. I'm beat. Bedtime. time. No, just, I'm, okay, I'm kidding. Uh, let's see. This morning I worked on, uh, I moved, we have a couple bins full of Uncle Bill's tools, so those went up in the shed. I was gonna move a couple other things and decided to wait on that because we might put them together first. Uh, I was up there. I also cleaned a little bit up there. I used some bleach on some of the shelves, uh, uh, or I mean the uh, the cupboards, the the, the uh, drawers, because they were covered in some kind of like yellow mold. So hopefully, and then I uh, soaked down one sock and just left it in there, soaked it with bleach. Hopefully that'll kind of keep some of the varmints out. There's so many shells of nuts and all kinds of junk up there from the squirrels coming in. Uh, I was up there and all of a sudden Bail uh, Hope was there, just boink, 
And I said, what? And I'd left the door open earlier. And Bella had stood at the door and waited. And I hadn't realized that Hope had slipped out on me at some point. So I got her put back in the house. I've been nervous all day that she might have gotten into some of the chemicals that are around up there. But she seems okay, so I don't think she did. I think that's just me being paranoid. And then this morning I had an idea that instead of removing the fence and then replacing it later, maybe we could just put in a couple of wide gates at that spot by the well. And then if there's ever work to be done in the future, we can open them up. And up to that point, we can just close them up and lock them and hook them with a chain or something like that so that we don't have to worry about them. So I called mom and I pitched her that idea and she liked it. Uh, and so I put in a request to Lowe's for an estimate on fence. And of course you can't really give all the information you need to give. I went and took a few measurements. We have a four foot fence. And to put gates between the bars that are there, there's a bar every 10 feet, at least up at the top. I don't know about these. So I don't know if they make, uh, if they make gates that big, you can see those gates are not 10 feet wide. But if they do, or they can make us some 10 foot wide gates or something like that, that would be great. Okay, dogs, you're all spread out. Come on, let's go, let's go up, up, up. Come on. Um, so that's, that's where I sit and where I'm hoping we can get. Uh, because nobody seemed to be really interested in responding to any of our stuff when we're asking like, we need somebody to come out, move the gate aside, the fence aside until we can, and then put it back at a later date. So I'm hoping we can make that work. I've seen wide gates. I don't know if they're that wide, but we'll see. Uh, and then I spent the rest of the day editing my next project, reading it out loud to myself. That's why I'm a little horse, and working on that, and got it done. So I'm going to do that a couple more times, editing it. Should be ready to go. This afternoon it's 68, which is an even 20 degrees centigrade. It's nice, it's breezy. <sighs> I feel like I've done a lot today. I'm supposed to hear back from a representative from Lowe's sometime before this uh, meeting with them tomorrow at one. So we'll see what happens. So far I've been blessed and impressed with the fence companies that we've tried to contact. Yes. We've got a huge crowd out here today of geese. Big ones and smaller ones. The flotilla. Christy noticed them. I didn't even see them. I was even looking out at the water. I'm recording way too much today. So we're all on the same page. We're all eating Victor dog food. Hey, good girl. I've been Switching her slowly over in the last couple weeks, and she seems to love it, so we're good to go. What's going on down there? Are you two playing? <laughs> that is not a toy, you know. That's supposed to be a blanket. <laughs> Meanwhile, this sweet girl's up here. Hi. Hello, hello. You're so good. You're so good.